Mm, I love that sound in the morning. Hey folks, I'm Larry Ladowski with Midwest Outdoors. And today I'm on Lake Michigan. We're here in Algoma, Wisconsin. And Algoma is one of the top ports on Lake Michigan for salmon and trout. I'm here with some longtime friends, Captain Lee Hosh, which is to my left, Captain Trevor Hosh of Hosh's Guide Service. And we're aboard their Grand Illusion 3. I also brought my brother along. Lake Michigan has been on fire the last couple of years, not only in quantity, but also quality. We'll talk a little bit about that. But first, Trevor's got to put this one in the net, right, Trev? <laughs> ain't got a little time yet. <laughs> <laughs> the sun's all the ways. Is it going to spool me? Oh, oh, there's a lot of line on there. I mean, I haven't gained any ground on them yet, and it's just taken off. It's still going. It's still just going, yeah. I think that boat right there is, I think it's out there. Yeah, I mean, I wish I knew that boat that would have them netted for you. <laughs> Save us some time. <laughs> is this a lighter rod? It's a medium light. Medium yeah. light, yeah, that's yeah. nice. You can feel every head shake. You can feel every head shake, and you can also, what's nice is that <clears throat> when that fish says, all right, stop, you can feel it immediately, and you know that don't, don't reel anymore because you're just gonna put line twists or whatever. It makes it a lot easier and more fun to, to fish. You know, this cooler water in the springtime, you know, they're really, they're tearing up equipment, really. They're making our reels work really hard. Well, my left arm is working real hard now, too. All right, it has surfaced. It's a nice fish. That's pretty. Oh, look at that. It's doing a little dance for us. Look at that rod tip go. <laughs> all right, boss, it's all up to you, buddy. One in! All right, right on! Good job. Way to go, Trev. <laughs> Look at that, right in the corner of the mow. Perfect, so that wasn't going anywhere, huh? Nope. Wow. Nice fish, Larry. Now, how do you tell it's a, a king? See the black mouth? Yep. It's gonna have uh, somewhat of a forked tail. Steel are gonna have an all white mouth. And this is a heavy fish, too. It is nice and thick. Yeah, we'll put this guy in the box. Lake Michigan is such a big body of water, and I know these fish, both trout and salmon, suspend. How do you use electronics to key in on the fish? Well, Larry, a lot of what we're doing is a combination of the graph. You know, we're gonna use it to show our depth, but we're not necessarily gonna mark a lot of fish if the thermoclines are up really high, but we're gonna catch them on our planer boards out to the sides. That's where our using a good GPS and a plotter screen come in. And then when we maybe make a turn or want to go back through the area, I can make sure I can target those areas where we've had bites already. You're basically using this for contour lines and that for your depth. And you're, Correct. you're putting the two of them together to find yep. these fish. We've got a fish hawk here so I can see my water temperature at the surface and I can see my water temperature down at where the probe is as well as uh, speed on the surface and speed down there on the probe. And then Score, Trevor! Oh, big, big steely jumping. Oh, wow. Oh, is that cool? What do you see up there, Skipper? Man, I just saw the whole fish come out of the water twice. So I steered us right towards that Mylar balloon. Three times, man, this thing's, oh, look at this, this thing's doing cartwheels. Right now we have trout and salmon and there are two species of salmon that you fish for and three species of trout, right? Yep. So the main, the main two um, that we're gonna be catching today is we got the king salmon and the steelhead trout. Our bread and butter is definitely kings and uh, steelhead. And then early in the spring, uh, lake trout. So you can catch anything, you never know what That's you're That's the great have. thing of being, about being out here. I mean, that line goes, it could be anything. You, yeah. just never, you just never know. You can just flip this one in, it's a yeah, small you're, you're, one. Here's your gaff hook. It's, there, it's right. not very sharp, you get. <laughs> All right, we can see him, he's right there. Captain Trevor's got the net. Beautiful steel. Wow. Steel. Oh, that's a dandy. Oh, man. And he's got him. Good job. Right on. Wow, that's a big that's fish. fish. That's a big fish. Now, now you can really see the difference between the steelhead and the, co or the king. Here's the white mouth, and the king will have a black mouth all the way around. And then here's that tail that we talked about. And that's what really gives it that power, huh? Yep. King is going to have more girth up here and a little narrow at the tail, but 
The steelhead is a sleeker fish. They've got a lot of power in this part of it, and they're such fast swimmers. Gorgeous, beautiful oh, color. Look at, the, look at the color on those. So yes, obviously you come to Algoma for the terrific fishery. As I mentioned, they're number one port on Lake Michigan for salmon and trout. But there's so much more to Algoma that you have to see. There's a downtown area with terrific murals on the buildings that is a great walking tour. They have a terrific beachfront where you can play volleyball, bring your kids to, whatever you want. They have a winery with wine tastings. They have a brewery with beer tastings. Excellent shopping. And the restaurants? are top notch. Oh, and, and, they are home to the number one Bloody Mary in the entire state of Wisconsin. So yes, come for the fishing, but stay for the vacation. Lake Michigan has been on fire the last couple of years. You've got to come out and experience some of this great salmon and trout fishing. I want to thank Lee Hosh and Trevor Hosh for taking us out today. Lee, how do they get a hold of you if they want to book something? Hey, you can go to our website, uh, fishelgoma.com, or uh, give me a call. 888-966-3474. Well, there you have it, folks. Come out and enjoy some of this great Algoma fishing. I want to thank Captain Lee and Trevor again for having us out. More Midwest is right around the corner. I'm Larry Ladowski, and we'll catch you later. <laughs>